Hello readers! I like saying readers because I like to read and I am so happy for you to be back again. This is another Kind Coach Stories and today we are going to read Llama Llama Red Pajamas. I like pajamas. They make me think about being comfy. So today I have my comfy blanket here and hopefully you can grab something comfy as well. We're gonna begin. So Llama Llama Red Pajama is written and illustrated by Anna Dwoodney. And it says, for my little llamas, I'm thinking those are her children or just some little special people in her life. And it says, with thanks to Tracy, Denise, and Deborah. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Llama Llama red pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Look, there's mama at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his llama mama. Look at him. He's like, Mom. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. <laughs> llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. He's like, where is she? She said she's coming up soon. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby llama starts to fret. Look at him. He's looking out the door. I don't see her coming. Where is she? Llama llama red pajama whimpers softly for his mama. <laughs> Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Mm -hmm. Llama Llama red pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? <clears throat> Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. His mom had to take a call while she was washing the dishes. Now he's boohooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Mom! Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. He's getting really riled up. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama, eyes open wide, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Look at his face. He's like, oh no. Llama Llama red pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run. Look, he was so riled up, he dropped his teddy bear. Oh, there's Mama. She's running. Llama Llama Red Pajama said to run. She's ran all the way up to his room. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient for your mama. He feels better that she's there. He's going to try and be more patient next time. 
Little llama, don't you know? Mama llama loves you so. Mama llama's always near, even if she's not right here. That's very comforting. Llama llama red pajama gets two kisses. One, two, from his mama. Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. Baby llama goes to sleep. The end. What a comforting story. Do you sometimes get impatient when you're waiting on your mama or your papa? Well, this is a great book that talks about being patient and just knowing that your parents love you and the people in your life love you. And sometimes they're busy, but they won't forget you. They will come and check on you. They will tuck you in, give you two kisses, good night, and make sure you get a great night's rest. So, just like last time, we have our dictionary here. Let's make sure we know what being patient means. Patient means to be calm while you're waiting. Llama Llama Red Pajama, he started off being patient, but then he got like a little antsy. He got like a little riled up, and that's why his mom said, what a tizzy. I think we sometimes all get into a tizzy when we're waiting, but it's no reason to get upset. It's no reason to yell. It's no reason to scream. We have to remember that things will be okay, and we can be patient. We can wait. Thank you for joining. I hope you loved Llama Llama Red Pajama. I hope you had something nice, comfy, and cozy to have with you while you are reading. And I will see you again soon.